Hi, my name is Kate Lester and this is my partner Daniel Allen and we own Diamond Logistics. Now you've been exploring the network partnership, no doubt you've been reading the website and maybe looking at some of our videos, but there's seven primary questions that come up time and time again and we're hoping that this video is going to answer most of those for you. I think it very much depends upon uh, where you are as a business as it stands at the minute, what area you're focused on within your existing logistics business. Um, but on top of that, you could be out offering the uh, express parcel service, which is both uh, overnight domestic and international express parcels. Um, we also do import and export along with that as well. Um, we've then got our same day courier services, um, which are gathering huge pace across the whole of the UK. And then we've got uh, an area that is of massive growth uh, at this moment in time, which is our e-commerce storage and fulfillment services. And then we've got a splattering of kind of bespoke services that um, our weird and wonderful clients ask for occasionally. Well, look, I think we've got many of our current network partners that come from a background of owning a logistics business that might be really heavily reliant upon one or two different customers. And that clearly is a very risky um, place to be. So diversifying and adding those additional services creates real stability. And we've certainly seen that in our past journeys as sure. you know, same day courier company owners and, and adding those additional services creates that stability, it opens up the uh, audience so you've got more people to be able to sell to in your particular area and that adds an ability to scale your business. I think there's also a degree of seasonality isn't there by diversifying into similar services but things that are different so from same day career to overnight and international and of course e-commerce you get different peaks and troughs in terms of seasonality so it levels out your kind of revenue. Yeah. And then the other thing is that the logistics market is evolving and changing so rapidly and I really do believe that you know to stay abreast of that you're kind of unified to be part of it can't you? Exactly yeah. Well, our services have been um, created through many years worth of experience and understanding what works and what doesn't work. And so off of the back of that, we've developed a formula that enables you to really scale your logistics business um, through some innovative processes and some client focused solutions. And again, with the technology that we're able to offer as well. We've invested two and a half million pounds in technology over the last five, six years. Mm. Um, so that's based on pragmatic understanding of the logistics industry, but also looking at the future of where the industry is going. So we're investing not to make sure that the business is really scalable today, but also what it looks like for the future of particular e-commerce fulfillment in five, 10 years time. And I'd say that most of that technology is unavailable to people on an individual basis. It's only as a collective we're able to fund it, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, we, we've uh, embarked on this journey of creating our own technology because there isn't a technological platform that's available on the market for you to tap into. So twinning that experience together with the innovation and knowing where the future of the marketplace is going is, is exactly what our network partners get. So the initial license fee is a mere £15,000 plus VAT, um, which clearly secures your geographical, your exclusive geographical kind of territory um, for as much as kind of 10 years, I guess. In addition to that, you've got to think about your trading premises and you're going to have to invest in establishing a warehouse if you haven't got one already. The minimum requirement would be at least 5,000 square feet. But of course, we do have lots of network partners that scale quite quickly. So you may want to consider a much larger premises after that stage. Um, you also need to think about what resources you're going to need within the business. And, and I guess that plays upon your strength and your role within the business as it stands at the minute. And then making sure that you're um, combating some of the weak areas that you may have as, a, as an owner operator yourself. So if that sales, you're going to need to have that um, absolute focus on the sales uh, function 
because it's the lifeblood of any business. Absolutely. But backing that up with the uh, customer service so that you're not just gaining new business, you're also holding on to that business that you've, you've been able to take on board and then making sure that you can operate it you know, through operational resources, etc. It's definitely that triad, isn't it, of operations, um, customer relationship management and sales, all backed by Diamond Sales Methodology that we coach really extensively in. I think first and foremost, it's um, you know it's about that knowledge and impart of that knowledge and experience that we have as business owners and uh, and knowing what works and what doesn't work, uh, and as a result of that, we've developed a, a training platform. Um, so each of our network partners receive the very best in class of uh, of training um, around every element of the business from sales right the way through to kind of operations and everything in between. Um, and then following the opening of your service centre, you're going to be supported and coached with the team that we've got behind us, each with their specialism within the sector. So whether that's technology or whether it's finance, marketing, again, the sales methodology, making sure that you're consistent with your sales approach and then business planning and much, much more. I think it's really interesting when we get some really big clients coming on board. Dan and I have been known to go and um, sit in on the big uh, client appointments in order to bring them on board. We launched Cambridge with their first big client, which is effectively worth £300,000 a year. That was a client that was negotiated by Diamond HQ. Um, and then we even send people around to help set up people's um, WMS, warehouse management system, not wanting to use too much lingo there. Um, so there's a huge amount of support from Diamond HQ. Yeah, and not, and not just from Diamond HQ. I think, you know, we really are a family here and, and every single network partner that we've taken on board and there are over 30 as it stands at the minute are like-minded business um, owners that uh, are all pushing in the same direction and that real collaboration and uh, camaraderie across the entire network is really important so you know I, I've run a small business in the past and, and likewise you have as well. Place, right? It is lonely sometimes and, and just having uh, fellow business owners that you can rub shoulders with or have a coffee with and, and just bounce ideas around is something that we very much um, champion within our business. It's entirely up to you as a network partner effectively. You know, the reality is that the more activity you put in, the more focus that, that's on the diamond side of the business, the bigger the rewards will be and the faster those rewards will come. And you know, so we, we've had uh, network partners that have invested massively, front loaded their sales effort and put lots of resources in there so that they reach that break even level a lot quicker. Uh, others have to do it slightly more prudently. Um, organically. But like, yeah, yeah, organically yeah. to a certain degree, but making sure that they're following the methodology and putting that focus into the diamond side of things. We like the fact that we've got pre-existing logistics businesses joining the network because it brings that experience and they've got some of that infrastructure already in place. So it makes the transition quite seamless. However, one of the watch out points is that if you are consumed by your existing businesses at stands at the minute, or even in some cases, spending 50% of your time in the van, doing deliveries yourself, then you need to think about what focus you can put into the diamond side of things and are you going to do it justice? Because if you can't, then obviously that's going to take a little while for you to reach that break even level. So I would say that, you know, it really does depend upon you and, and how much effort that you put into the business. But we've had people repay their initial investment within the first six months, <laughs> yeah, you know. Others, it might take a little bit longer because they're investing more in their infrastructure for bigger scale later on. The reality is that we've got the capacity to scale as slowly and or as quickly as you wish to. So it's your effort uh, and your ambition that will um, determine how quickly you'll make the return on your investment. Just to kind of add to that really, I, I guess, you know, in terms of what you can see for, for your money, your, your return on investment, we've got network partners that are grossing over 50% in, in gross margin. And we've got network partners that have scaled to over a million pounds worth of revenue within the first three years mm. of them becoming network partners. And that is based upon them starting at ground zero with no infrastructure. So if you've got infrastructure, you've got knowledge of the sector, and you're putting that significant focus on the business model, you can far exceed that achievement. Quite a hockey stick of growth, should it you is. have the gumption to do so.
how much time have we got? There's millions of reasons why you should become a network partner. Uh, but I guess the, the, the kind of key ones is if you are reliant upon you know one or two clients and you want to take control by gaining business direct with, with the, the, the people that are spending the money, um, diversifying, adding those additional services. Um, I think if you want to um, learn from a business that's got over 30 years experience, I think you know we, we've made lots of mistakes over the years we sure that we've been have. in business and you learn from those mistakes. So rather than reinventing the wheel, joining the network partnership means that you avoid some of those key mistakes that you know certainly Kate and I have made over the, over the years. The technological solution that we're able to provide as well, as Kate said earlier, we've invested over two and a half million pounds in Dispatch Lab as it stands at the minute. That for many um, localized logistics businesses would certainly be unachievable. The fact that we've done that on behalf of our network, I think adds huge weight to the, the entire offering. Um, and uh, being a local business, it means that you know you sometimes might find it difficult to drive the, the buying power that you might need. And again, through that collaboration that we've got across our entire network, uh, being able to kind of join forces and, and, and be able to kind of improve the buying power that we, we're able to achieve through the scale that we've got across the network is, is really important. Yeah, I have to say, Dan does an incredible job in terms of managing our carriers and getting the very best deals to enable our network partners to put their margin on top of that. And that is our collective buying power. But also in addition to that, and we're starting to see this now, now we've got our key 30 in place. It's the opportunity to get involved in those nationwide contracts as well. And, and simply as an individual courier company, you would not have access to those. They want to have a nationwide headquarters managing it for them. So that's another part of being part of the Diamond family. Yeah, the brand, I think the brand is really important to us. And, and it doesn't mean that you lose your own identity as your local business um, that you've built up for it through, you know, maybe in some cases, many years of, of kind of trying. And, and that you should be very passionate about. We don't want you to lose that identity, but then joining forces with a, a big nationwide brand like Diamond Logistics, it just adds weight. You get the best blend of both worlds, local um, brands that people associate with the care and attention that comes with a small business, coupled together with the infrastructure, the technology, the buying power of that big brand and all of the marketing and, and what that attracts into our business is, is vital. So they're the seven burning questions that a lot of people ask us when they're inquiring about a network partnership, but I'm sure you've got some more. Um, there's a variety of contact methods on this page, whether it's by email, telephone number or the form below. So get in touch. We'll really look forward to hearing from you.